Hi, welcome to Clark's Place. Today I'm going to work on the uh, 72 Challenger uh, dash pad, or dash a little bit. Going to get the dash cluster, get it mounted. We built this uh, stand. You can actually put another dash on the other side. You Let's take it out in the light over there so we can see what the heck you're looking on. Kind of dark in there. Yeah. Hey, yeah, look at what you got going on here. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. It was just an old rack. Chris welded some. We'll have a bunch of this brackets channel. Is this the start of a 36 part series of how to restore your dash or is this a one and done video? Probably uh, going to be more because I've still got to get the pad. Uh, I've got the wood wood grain to put on the uh, cluster. I'm going to get I'm going to mount the cluster. I cleaned all the wires up, got all those kind of in the brackets where they go. And then uh, I don't think I'll be using this, but it was already hooked up. You got a new one with vintage air. With vintage air that's in the car. That's what I thought. Yeah. So I can't put it in until, but that just holds the wires for now. But uh, still need my lock mechanism. I think I have one of those somewhere. Okay. But uh, oh, you found your ashtray. I know you were looking for it. Yeah, and I don't have. I don't know where the pull is for it. So I have to see if I can order those or if somebody's got a spare. Gotcha. Uh, I'll try to get one of those, but. I'm going to put in the cluster now. Oh, you're going to put it in the cluster? Yeah, I put the, uh, I took the cluster, cleaned it all up, took all the gauges out, uh, cleaned them up as oh, best I could. Yep, cool. Tack, it's the rally cluster. Got a clock. Of course, all that. And then the rest of the parts that are in here are, um, oh, those are the, some of the, the light stand blockers. That yeah, the standoffs that come off of this. Which those will go when I get, uh, I've got a box over there, it's got all the plastic, but then there's a wood grain that goes over it for the rally, and that I'm still getting, uh, getting all that from Brian. So, cool. I'm going to put this in today, and uh, I mean, it's not really going to take that much to put it in. I think there's, yeah, I've got four screws here. Uh, it looks like it has kind of an aligning. Oh, it's just the screws there and there. Yep. So. Voila. Look at that. <laughs> Can you look at that? How easy that is. I think what it's... makes it nice is you can get to the back side and this will loosen in a pivot. Do yeah, it's just, uh, it's just got a capture nut we welded in that you can screw in the actual real dash nut i believe yes i think you just make go. that look so easy because of your skill level oh, yeah. that's what it is you're so skilled it it's just it seems easy it seems easy <laughs> so um i'm going to see what i have for plastics uh like i say i still still got to get the pad which air, nobody has any pads i mean they're they're climbing up to eight eight hundred dollars these days so i don't know well brian's got one of yours to recover and then yep. we saw him at the mopar nationals that they were what 650 plus a 300 dollar core charger 195 something? core oh was it okay so it's there you're if you just buy one outright you spend a lot of money too. yep but this we kind of stripped it down and painted it black which most of it all gets covered up you're going to obviously see the front part yep but allows access and you can fold that down to where this just yeah. kind of drops and then you get all and wire all the backs yep. of the gauges so that'd be that's cool all taken out of a car that works so oh heater i guess they were marked we marked them but probably won't use this because the mini jair has its own system and wiring yep cool so all right, well, I don't know if you want to plug off. I don't know if you want to time lapse doing some of the work or what you feel like doing today for yeah, your first can. video, but you could maybe do a maybe a few part series on whatever you end up doing to get this all the way back to right to right. perfection. Right. How many miles we got on it? Oh, 10,000. 10,000, yeah. So yeah. that'll be easy to remember. No, I, I mean, can, the I car can, probably had 110. I can roll that back to you. Don't you know I got good at rolling back those gauges? Yeah. I did. Yeah, I know it. 
My, my my two dashes have zero on them. Really? <laughs> I think this one. Did we do this dash too? But I put it to zero. Did we look? Did we show the wheels we got for this, or is that another um, video? No, I don't think we have put the wheels on for that. So well, we don't have to yet. Pull one out of the box real quick. These are the. These if are the somebody wheels. watched the Mopar National video, they got to see them. But these are the Krager SS. Some but 17 inch Kriegers. 17s. The 14s don't fit on the front with the uh, wheel with brakes. brakes. They rub. 15s might, but according to how how Krager makes their back plates, I didn't want to take a chance to get it in Ohio and bring it all the way back here. And aha, uh -huh, the Krager 15s rub. These worth the show. Uh, good price on them, so. So those. Days going on there. The tires are. What was the place we got it from? Did you do tire rack? Keep, yeah, tire rack. Used the tire rack and bought the seven. The best fit for those to still kind of look good and uh, fit in here. I think you bought two twenty fives or something like that. Two two oh fives, I believe. Forty five, seventeen, something like that. And uh, they're on their way. So there'll be some wide meats on the back of it. Some wide. Shorter, shorter tread meets because the wheel's bigger. Yeah, hopefully we can get them in there and get them looking good. But we're gonna, we're gonna use our Harbor good. Freight tire changer to put them on. Yeah, they're right there. Da, 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 da. I'll probably take them someplace <laughs> and have them bounded and balanced. Yeah, I think but, so. Uh, these I have on Facebook Marketplace. They're the regular wheels that were on this. Uh, they're fairly new tires. They'll be sold by the time somebody actually watches this video, so. Maybe. But they're the, they've got the flatten instead of the cone for 72. Gotcha. So I think I've got them on there for 400 bucks, I think. 100 bucks a piece with the tires. Yep, cool. So, until next right. time. All right. Thanks for watching.